I'm seeding some mini bell peppers, and I'm trying to decide if it's really worth even growing this type of pepper. I'm going to let you decide. I'm right in the middle of a big recipe called Nutty Sweet Corn Red Pepper Chips that you've got to check out. Anyway, these are some of the little mini red peppers I was eating. I mean, I'm talking mini. That's full grown. That's as big as they get. And they're so cute and they're so appealing to just throw in a salad. They're kind of new for me, but I tried different uh, ways of getting the seeds out. I mean, look at their jam packed with seeds. So I tried just coring them in the top, right, like a little pumpkin. That's one way. And then I tried just cutting off the top like this. That's another way. This was just to show you what it looks like. And here's another one where I took out the top like a pumpkin. So if you take out the top like a pumpkin, then it's kind of hard to get uh, hard to get the seeds out. Anyway, my battery's just dying. So bottom line is the best way if you're going to get cut them is to cut the tops off like this. So you don't if you cut off the top like this, you're going to lose a lot of pepper. If you cut out the, like the little pumpkin top, you're going to be fine. Then you just have to get a knife down in there and pull all your seeds out. But these are just jam-packed with seeds. And it's a fun plant to grow because you just have all these little baby minis all over the place. Um, I personally would probably rather just have big old red peppers. They're a lot easier to clean. And these are a lot more work than they're worth. But they do taste good. So I just thought I'd give you a quick peek there to let you know about the mini red bell peppers and how to best get the seeds out and best cut them. Um, if you like the, the idea of having some little minis, go ahead and grow them. They're fun to, to look at, but they're a little bit more work to seed than red peppers. Okay, thanks. See you on the next video. Bye.